आई एम मिसेस गीता धुंधरवाड़ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ ह्यूमैनिटीज एंड साइंसेज वालशन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी शोलापुर इन टूडे सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट सिचुएशनल कॉन्वर्सेशन लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट इफेक्टिव ओरल कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स इन वेरियस सिचुएशंस सो सिचुएशनल कॉन्वर्सेशंस सिचुएशनल डायलॉग्स वर डिसाइन विथ वराइटी ऑफ एवरी डे इंग्लिश यूसेज सिचुएशंस दिस इज डिजाइन फॉर इंग्लिश लर्नर्स डायलॉग्स ऑफ टू टू थ्री पेयर्स ऑफ क्वेश्चंस एंड आंसर्स फॉर ईच डायलॉग्स आर मेड अप सो दैट वन फ्रेज ऑफ अ डायलॉग कैन बी ईजीली इंसर्टेड इन टू द अदर सो लेट इज फर्स्ट सी द क्वेश्चन थिंक अबाउट दिस क्वेश्चन वट इज सिचुएशनल कॉन्वर्सेशन टेक अ पॉज think about this question and try to give the answer so what is situational conversation a two person role play in which the characters perform some routine activity or in the proposed intervention situational dialogue refers to a pre-printed text to be used in the classroom to develop oral proficiency that is called situational conversation so generally conversations are formal or informal so formal language is a style of speech used when you are speaking to someone you don't know or on whom you want to make a good impression informal language is a style of speech where choice of words and grammar tends to be familiar rather than formal formal and informal language serve different purposes so formal language formal language is less personal than informal language it is used when writing for professional or academic purposes like university assignments formal language does not use colloquialisms contractions or first person pronouns such as i or we informal language informal language is more casual and spontaneous it is used when communicating with friends or family either in writing or in conversation it is used when writing personal emails text messages and in some business correspondence the tone of informal language is more personal than formal language a huge number of words and phrases are used mainly in informal english for example dude freaking nook trashy grown up awesome to chill out these words are used in informal languages so let us see the difference in between formal and informal languages so whenever we are discussing in a formal way we have to use full sentences but in informal language we can use short sentences also in a formal 
लैंग्वेज करेक्ट ग्रामर एंड वोकेबलरी इज वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट बट वेन वी थिंक अबाउट इनफॉर्मल लैंग्वेज lack formal grammar and vocabulary is found there we are not giving that much importance to these two in a formal language no contractions are used for example i would this type of contractions are not allowed in formal language but in an informal language contractions can be used no idioms are used in formal language but in an informal language we can use idioms also generally whenever we are speaking or writing formal language we have to use passive voice for example the application form is complete but whenever we think about informal language we generally use active voice for example i completed the application form then in formal language no phrasal words can be used or no abbreviations no exclamation marks and no imperatives but whenever we think about informal phrases phrasal verbs abbreviations exclamation marks or imperatives are allowed to use so the verbs which are used in formal and informal language the following list will help you to recognize the formal and informal ways of saying the same thing the list is divided into sections of verbs transitions emphasis words abbreviations and slang so these are the these are some of the words which are used in formal way and informal way these are some of the speaking situations so these are examples of these situations introducing others or encouraging words buying and selling making suggestions making plans for the weekend asking for favors or asking for repetitions so these are some of the situations on these situations you can start to converse so this is the example of formal conversation generally in formal situation we are using good morning good afternoon or thank you welcome all these things we are using emphatically this is a conversation in between two friends and see the language whatever we are using in this informal situation so hi hello or do whatever the things we are using in our day to day communication those things can be used in informal conversation so this is the example so this is again example of formal and informal type of conversations go through those situations just remember these main points be friendly even if the other person does not have time to talk at least they'll appreciate your pleasant demeanor so take the pressure off when you come in with expectations you may become easily dis- disappointed just have a fun and let whatever happens or happen 
talk about them they don't want to hear your life story so ask them questions that show you want to get to know them better and they'll probably reciprocate with the same then you should be honest no need to make up an impressive story to get someone's attention just be yourself and tell the truth even you can ask open loop questions a uh, yes or no can be a conversational dead end so ask questions that spur on further discussion so begin the good conversation starters the best way to start up a conversation with someone you don't know is to ask a question that's not too personal here are some examples of polite questions you can ask to get things going so this is a question excuse me do you have the time or do you know what time is it then the next important point is that avoid closed loop questions questions that can only be answered with yes or no are called closed loop questions because they close down the conversation so open loop questions work much better when you aim to keep a conversation going instead of asking closed question do you like apple juice ask the question open question what is your favorite type of juice generally pain loop questions invite further discussion whereas yes or no question usually only invite an end to the conversation so closing the conversation when the conversation ends find a way for them to get in touch with you in the future if you feel like they might want to chat again you can give them an opportunity with some of these phrases and remember to make them feel appreciated too you can use this phrases i really enjoyed our chat thanks so much or it was really nice meeting you so this is the link which i have used to complete my ppt go through this reference 